show Gadgets and Gear live from Consensus in Austin, Texas. Today's show is all about things you can hold. I'm joined now by Jameson Nani, Chief Product Officer at Compass Mining, and we're going to talk about at-home Bitcoin mining. Hello. Hey, Jen. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being on the show. I'm actually very excited that you're here because one of your colleagues, Will Foxley, is a co-host of mine yep. on The Hash every day at noon, and anytime I have a chance to plug our show, I will take it. <laughs> And we talk about mining a lot on the show, uh, and so I'm excited that we can see this miner and understand how it works. So first, what are we looking at here? Okay, John. Uh, by the way, we all love Will Foxley too, and my wife loves him more than anybody. So, <laughs> all right. So this is um, this is kind of your old school ant miner S9. Uh, people refer to this as the AK-47 or the Air Jordan of miners <laughs> because this thing has lasted forever. It's basically a brick. Um, you know, it is an old gen model. We don't actually sell this anymore, but I thought it'd be fun to bring it here. If I'm someone who's not mined before and I want to start mining at home, where do I start? Do I just get a device like this and plug it in and take it away? Or like, what are my steps? Yeah, so prior to Compass, you would probably go on a site like Telegram or Reddit and try to find a distributor or somebody that has one and wire them a bunch of money and hope that it shows up at your doorstep. Compass kind of takes that whole process and white gloves it for you. We offer hosting solutions, which means we will take your miner and put it on our racks. We have about 30 facilities around the globe, but we also allow you to ship it to your house, and we, we strongly encourage that. Um, so you go on our website, you choose a miner that you like, and you send us your uh, shipping address, and we, we ship it. It's that easy. You're making it sound really easy. <laughs> What's the difference between putting it on one of your racks and having it at home? That is a great question, and that's really the genesis of why Compass is here today. We started out asking ourselves the question, um, how can I mine Bitcoin? And the regular pleb is what we like to call it, um, may not live in a state with cheap electricity prices. That's a major input to mining. Uh, and then also may not have electricity knowledge. So you need a 220 outlet. These things make a lot of noise. It's basically like a, a blender on 24-7. So if you have a significant other, um, <laughs> that may hurt your relationship. If but, you have anyone else. Yeah, <laughs> anyone else, yeah. So live alone and mine Bitcoin. Um, no, so, and then they produce a lot of heat. Um, so we created Compass Mining to alleviate a lot of those friction points. So you go online, you don't have to deal with Telegram or Reddit, you purchase through us. We have 30 locations. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's really soup to nuts. Ship the miner to our sites. We unplug them. We, sh we put them on racks and then you're mining away. So I can't, I can't skip over the question about Bitcoin mining and climate change. Yeah. I think you would have to be living under a rock if you haven't seen the headlines this year that... New York. Yeah, yeah. you know, states are cracking down on Bitcoin mining and there's a lot of mainstream media conversation about the uh, impact on the environment. I, for one, think there's not enough research and real comparisons out there to really have, one of this, the good ones. have this conversation <laughs> at an intellectual level. But for people who are thinking about mining at home, what should they be considering when it comes to environmental impact? Yeah, so as I mentioned before, this is really just a supercomputer. It produces zero emissions. Um, it has everything to do, the, the ESG movement has everything to do with the generation sources. So, you know, us at Compass Mining, we, if th that is your cup of tea, if that is what you're interested in, um, we recommend that we add new generation to the grid that suits that purpose. So add more nuclear, add more uh, carbon capture, natural gas, um, and feed the grid with those types of uh, energy sources. This just is a consumer of energy. Um, the one other piece I'd like to mention is if you are a developer of energy, you can put a mining uh, farm right next to the generation source. You can have that as an anchor tenant. These miners will consume 24-7. So your overall investment, you can overbuild and lower your levelized cost of energy. So put it right next to the generation source, increase the amount of generation you're going to build. And the other unique thing, the other property of miners is they can turn on and off in an instant. So you've seen this in Texas where we have uh, you know, record heat or cold snaps and demand shoots up. Uh, miners have proven resilience uh, on the grid and there's nothing like it. 
One last piece to mention is we are, we're adding a lot of renewables, and I think it's great, but that, that is... Uh, that generation is very variable. It's intermittent. It only turns on when photons are hitting solar panels or when wind, wind is uh, blowing. And so to have something super unique like this, partnering with a energy producer where they can have intermittent demand to offset the grid, uh, we wouldn't see these types of blackouts. How much does one of these cost? Uh, this one, this is an old unit, so it's maybe like <laughs> maybe a three three hundred dollar unit. But the ones that we're selling, the top of the line units on our website are, let's call it six to seven thousand, and even up to twelve thousand. And it all depends on the efficiency of the unit. When I get a unit, how much Bitcoin am I mining? So great question. It, again, it depends on the efficiency yep. of the unit. But if we're talking in U.S. dollar terms, um, and I'll have to caveat this in all different ways, but the difficulty of the network and the Bitcoin price uh, dictate kind of the USD denominated value. But um, one of our S19 uh, machines may be $450 in rewards a month, whereas our hosting fees may be about $180. Do you have one in your home? Uh, I will convince my wife, but I, the answer <laughs> is no, reluctantly. Uh, she doesn't want to hear that blunder, no, hey? No. <laughs> All right. So for everyone watching who's interested in learning more about Compass Mining or getting yep. a machine for themselves, how do they do that? Yeah, compassmining.io. Uh, pretty straightforward. I hope we've built an ecosystem that allows anybody to mine Bitcoin. We have a marketplace. Uh, where you can buy and sell your units. So if you're hosted with Compass, you can sell your unit. Um, and then last, you know, a quick little hot take is we're actually launching a wallet. So you can mine directly to your wallet. You can pay your hosting bills with your wallet. You can withdraw to your own self-custodied wallet. Uh, we're super excited about it. Just building tools for Bitcoin miners. Jason, thank you so yes. much for joining me here today.